of Ukraine. We will face off with Bahrain's Kubran Idrisov. So the Ukrainian Kurilaru is actually the 2021 Senior World Cup gold medal winner in his division. So definitely somebody who's favored to get far in this tournament. But if there's one thing we know about Bahrain, they have a very, very strong team and traditionally do very well in pretty much every weight uh, class. So Kurilaru here going for, trying to go for a takedown. Solid defense so far now though from Idrisov. Oh, looks like he's going airbound. Airborne, rather. Only briefly, but very solid takedown defense from Idri Idrisov right now. And it was Coralaro's wrestling heavy style that got him a gold medal in Prague last year. Nice job there from Idrisov. Turns the table and gets the Ukrainian down instead. None other than brave super lightweight champion Eldar Eldarov in the corner of Idrisov. Certainly in very good company. A nice job by Idrisov. Scooping the legs out from under his opponent. Placing him with his back against the cage. And that does it for a first round. A strong start for Ivan Kurilaru, but Kubran Idrisov turned the tables and ended the round on top. Of course, Ukraine, very experienced in combat sports. Here we have the Bahraini corner, but yeah, Ukraine, very experienced in combat sports. Lots of top-notch athletes like Yaroslav Amasov, current undefeated welterweight Bellator champion. Madeleine Fogerlin, the Pearl of South Sweden, starts the second round. There is a takedown attempt, but quite telegraphed, actually. I'm surprised at that. Back and forth action here. Oh. And once again, Kurilaro lifting his opponent up, but not really getting a whole lot of success out of it. And the 
the thing with slam takedowns is very, they take a lot of energy. They're very explosive, but they're not always the most effective. Okay, Kurilara working his way back up, but look at that, he gives up his back, and Idrisov is on it quickly. Oh, there is a rear naked choke attempt. Oh, I think Kurilara is in danger. Well, he seems to have loosened the grip a little bit. It's a little hard to see from this angle. Okay. So Kurlar defending so far. But as Idriso has that body triangle slapped on, it's very hard to get out of this position. Ten seconds. And that about does it for a second round. Another dominant showing for Bahrain's Kubran Idrisov. I'd say that Kurilara needs to try something a little bit different. I think he should set up his takedown attempts with some more striking, just to sort of disguise it a little bit. Whereas for Idrisov, he can kind of continue doing what he's been doing. I mean, obviously this is a taxing style of fighting. It expends a lot of energy. I'm seeing some of the effects of that. And in both corners, trying to cool their fighters off a little bit. And here we have it, third and final round. Nice little combination there for me to shoot up, and there is a takedown attempt. up on his back once again then the he may just have lost his spot in the tournament he's turning things around here a little bit though he's probably gonna need a finish though back and forth for position against the cage here.
And both these teams should do quite well in this year's World Championship. Both have, okay. Referee Fogelin separates them. There's the immediate shot. Quite easy to spot. Krillara turns things around. This is one of the best positions that Kurilar has had so far, but oh, look at that. Idrisov spins out. Final 10 seconds, and it looks like the 2021, 2021 World Cup Lightweight winner will get cut from the tournament. Strong, strong showing for Bahrain's Kubran Idrisov. And with the official decision, let's hand it over to our announcer, Mr. DNM. Okay, there we have it. I'm somewhat surprised at the split, but despite that, the Bahrain's Kubran Idrisov.